Crafting Jacket bring you another forest guide. Now today will be a fairly quick video compared to the last few uh, videos I've been putting out. Um, I'm just going to show you how to get the end game artifact. Now in the last video that I uploaded it was getting the golden key card so you can uh, get the end game artifact for the alternate ending. So if you haven't seen that, and if you're just curious on how to get the golden key card, it's pretty simple. I don't know why if you're at this point where you're trying to find the key, why you would watch it. But yeah, still, go for it. Um, now, I'm over here by the yacht, which is the southwest part of the map. Um, if you don't know where this is, well, why are you playing the game? No, I'm chuckling continue playing the game it's amazing but so we're just gonna swim on over we do have I'll show you whenever we get onto the boat but we do have the golden key card um because if we didn't then I wouldn't be coming over here uh, now in the yacht it used to have just the room that was open before the game was fully released there are two air canisters on the yacht, in case you haven't been here, I highly suggest you come here because there's a lot of uh, good things for you to have early on, and you can even sleep and save on here. Um, if you haven't slept on here before, if you sleep on here, you'll get a achievement, so yeah, definitely do that. So now over here, um, there is a little key requirement thing right here for some the Sahara Company, um, and as you can see in our hand, we have the golden key card. So we are just gonna go on down, open it up, and once inside, we should see a little triangular, it's kind of like a pyramid. Yep, there it is. Then a whole bunch of papers and stuff. Then, I never noticed that there were that many pictures of Virginia. Yeah, this room was pretty useless before the, uh, the game fully released, and, I mean, it hasn't fully changed much besides the fact that it gives us this. So, um, yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get going back to where we need to go. Now, after you actually get that, you will have to go back up to the cave that we came out of, um, after, like, you know, choosing the alternate ending for the game, you'll go back to that cave entrance that it puts you out up in the snow. It's near that house that, uh, you can see on the screen. And you'll go in, you'll go down the pit with your rebreather, and then, well, actually, you don't even need it, you just need to go down and back up, so the rebreather isn't required for this. But, it also is, because you kind of have to, you know, go through the actual game with the breather, and then go through the end game with the breather. So yeah, it is required, just not for this specific part of the game. So, uh, yeah, let's, yeah, and it is kind of pretty, though. It's very shiny. I'm trying to... I'm really curious as to why and how these things got here, or what they were originally made for, and how they have all the power, but I guess it's just the type of thing that you'll never find out. I don't know. I know there are a lot of conspiracy theories about what these artifacts are and what they're made of, where they came from, but I'm not... I feel the closest thing I could uh, see actually being true is that they're just like alien, um, they're just kind of like alien artifacts, and it's alien equipment, that's the word. So that that's the most of this I could really see, is it just being alien equipment. Um, if you guys have an opinion of what these might be definitely suggested
because I'm curious as to see what you guys think these are. So, I mean, it definitely does not look like something a human would make. Um, it, it looks very like... On, from how often I've played WoW, it kind of reminds me of, if you guys have ever played WoW, um, Silithus, the old Silithus, they're just like giant, like, bug claws and mouths opening from the ground and all that stuff, and it kind of looks like the top of this artifact. Um, because you can see, like, the three extremely long... Not prongs, well, mandibles, that's what they would be called if they were, it was, if it was based off of the bug's appearance. Um, then it just has like a whole bunch of little teeth, but I'm not sure. Definitely comment if you guys have an opinion on what it might be. Because I'm curious. Don't mind me, just ate some marigold. Thought it was a mushroom. <clears throat> but it definitely was not. Alright, we should be coming up on cave entrance here soon, because as you can see, you're able to see the snow just up there. So, we are definitely getting a lot closer. Um, and thankfully, they did put the cockpit, like, right next to the cave entrance, so it's very easy to find cave entrance. It's just a matter of fact of getting up to it, which isn't hard at all. Um, I think what I will do is I'll go in the cave, and if, whenever I come back out of the cave, if need be, I'll sleep. Just to turn a day so I can try and show you. I don't, from what I saw on the artifact, and what I've experienced with it, is it kinda spawns them in. So we can definitely try and you know, show how it works, and see if they will spawn in. I, it's not a a promise that it will spawn, but it's a possibility. Because I have seen them just literally spawn in front of you, then attack you. So, I mean, not 100% sure, but I guess we will find out once we get in. Um... I believe this is it. Yeah, it definitely is. Let's go on and climb through. And once inside, shouldn't take us too long to get to the water just down here. And here we are. No, now. Yeah, okay. Me just gonna say now and not you know, let go of the word that's uh, definitely going to make it come up on us quicker. There it is. Okay. Yep. Don't mind me. Alright. Look at that. Whenever you get close when you get close to the door you're able to hear stuff and you can see the flashing blue light. It's really cool looking. The art, well, never mind. I was about to say the artifact shakes, but that might just be the fact that our guy is cold. So, look, look at that thing. Alright. We have officially opened, and look at this. It's a whole altar. Just worshipping this little artifact. Congratulations, you now have the artifact, uh, in-game artifact specifically. Um, now, if you right-click, it will stop and it will go backwards, turning red, I believe. Right? Are you just going to make me sound crazy? No, then left-click. Yeah, there we go. So, whenever it's on red, it will call, and you have to plant it down. But after you plant it down, um, it will, like, call and summon cannibals to come and attack you. And they will just keep coming. Like, they won't stop until you pick it back up, flip it to blue, 
plant it on the ground, then they will all run away almost instantaneously. So, um, yeah. It's a very powerful artifact for its size, but I guess size doesn't matter. At least not in this game. So, Alright, let's go run outside. And it also is a very good source of light. Because, I mean, as you see, I'm, you know, it's pretty bright. So you could definitely just run with this in your hand. I don't know why you would want to. It's kind of noisy. I don't, I, I don't really like the noise myself. Um, and if you were to right, oh, excuse me. If you were to right click it while it's blue, it would turn it off. That's what happened earlier. Just thought I should tell you guys that, so you would know what happened. Um, also, if you just, if you don't care for it to be or anything to attack you or anything like that, um, or if it, if you just want it neutral, where it's not warding off cannibals and mutants, or if it's calling him, then you just double right click, and then it'll turn off, as you can see. Um, we're just gonna go over here, and we're gonna sleep, turn it day, and then we're gonna run down here just to get out of the snow. Because no one likes to just chill in the snow, unless you live up near the lake or whatever, then, well, have fun. Um, so we're just going to turn it on, and we're going to turn it red. We're going to plant it and see if we can call any cannibals or mutants to attack us. Even though we are on creative and cannibals and mutants don't naturally spawn, um, from what... I've seen this do in a few other, like, just on several different videos from different YouTubers. It would spawn them in, around it, but I'm not gonna promise anything, because it, it doesn't look like it's gonna do it for us right this second. Um, so yeah, we are just, alright, that was. That was kind of brutal. Um. Yeah. This thing is really cool, though, I must say. And it, it basically is a mini version of what was in the tower. And actually, as of, like, right there... Oh, do I have... No, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Do I? Oh, I don't. Alright. Um. Like, right there, where the tip of uh, his middle finger is, right on that part of the mountain. Actually, wait, I can do that, right? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, alright. Right where his middle finger is, whenever he uh, was looking at the palm of his hand. Ready, right there, where his middle finger is right now. That's where the tower should be, but we can't see it. I'm still confused about why we can't see it from the island. I mean, I understand why they don't want us to see it from the island, just because, you know, you do, if you haven't completed the game, it's a pretty big spoiler. And, I mean, you know, just seeing a giant, like, almost factory-looking, like, building up on a snowy mountain in an island where... They're just, like, tribal cannibals and all that stuff. You wouldn't expect there to be a modern building up in the mountains for a whole, like, facility of scientists and stuff. So, I mean, there's definitely a good reason for it not to show, but it realistically, you would be able to see it. But this is definitely still a game, so what is realism? Um, alright, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, um, the guy, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, I'm terrible with, uh, names, but you definitely did remind me where to use the golden key card. I knew that the yacht was, uh, a place I can, but I did, I, cause I thought that there was another golden key card access point, like, down in a cave or something, so thank you for reminding me about the yacht. In the location of the artifact, like, door opener. That little triangle piece that we carry all the way over. Thank you for reminding me about that. 
Um, and yeah, that's going to do it. So please leave a like, comment down below, um, subscribe. I believe next week on Monday I will upload a video on the forest on how to get a specific achievement. Um, and then I think Wednesday I'm going... I might do a video on a different game. If you guys have any games that you wouldn't mind seeing, please do suggest because I would love to know what you guys want to see, if anything other than the forest. Um, so yeah, that is definitely going to wrap this up. I will see you guys in the next video. And remember, shine bright, neon bright. Bye.